So I want to give you seven reasons why to focus on listings. And I wrote these down. I want you to write them down. Um, and then we're going to move into how in the heck you get them. How many of y'all want to know how to get them? All right. We all do. All right. Um, there's a bunch of different strategies, like 27 strategies that I teach on how to get them. But there's only three buckets. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So top seven reasons why you should focus on listings. Number one, seller listings mean more marketing opportunities, more marketing opportunities. Seller listings mean more marketing opportunities. That's branding. So when you have a listing, you have your sign in the yard and you have an opportunity to market because that's really what listings give you is a goal. When you have a buyer, can you market that? Oh, I got a new buyer. You can in a way, right? But when you can market a listing, what happens? Listings actually have babies. Y'all know that? Okay. If I get a listing, I want to get at least one more listing through my marketing efforts from that listing and then two buyers that actually buy. So, so, so that's number one. Number two, you get more control of your time. How many of y'all want more control of your time? How many of you want less control of your time? You want less control of your time? No. <laughs> you want more control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what, what, what uh, working with listings does. You know what the first thing that a, that a seller does when they call me after hours, like at six o'clock at night? You know what the first thing they do? Message. Leave a message. I like that. I like that. The first thing, if I, assuming I pick up, the first thing they do is apologize. Apologize. That's the first thing they do. They call me on a Saturday. They apologize. Okay. Nolly, I'm so sorry to be calling you on Saturday. You know, I, I, you know, I, I, just, I just need a quick minute. I just got a quick question. Uh, you know, I know it's Saturday. They're apologizing. Okay. Now, when's the last time a buyer did that for you? <laughs> they call you on a Saturday or Sunday. Look, we want to go see this house. It's 4th of July. Look, it's 4th of July. I just, I, I just tossed back a few. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, like that. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, but we, if, if, we, if you don't come show me this house, we're we going with somebody else. That, that's how they act. <laughs> don't they? Am I exaggerating? Maybe a little. All right, number three, seller listings maximize your per hour compensation. Seller listings will maximize your per hour compensation. So it's a fact, this is, sci this is scientifically proven fact, that you can work three sellers in the same amount of time it takes to work one buyer. Okay, that's research studies already been done on that. So your per hour compensation just goes way up. Now listings bring you more business, period. And some people are like, man, are we supposed to abandon buyers? No. You take all the business you can get. But you never have to market for buyers. If you've got listings, you got all the buyers you need. <laughs> uh, you know, I've got 10, 15 listings on the ground. i got buyers coming out of my ears. You see what I'm saying? So, number, so that's number four. Number five, you can run your business from anywhere. And this is my wife and I went on this thing before COVID where we like to go on cruises. We went on like eight cruises eight years in a row and uh, how many of y'all have never been on a cruise oh I feel bad for you how many of y'all been cruising been on a cruise yeah it's fun it's fun I mean it's gotten kind of weird you know lately because you you know you don't want to get sick and all that but cruising's fun I, you know we fell in love with it now if you have 13 buyers they're ready to buy today 13 of them that, that's a good problem to have are you going on that cruise unpack your bags <laughs> you're in time out but if we got 13 sellers where are we going we're cruising okay because I'm gonna hand my book of business to Maurice he's gonna you know kind of babysit it just babysitting it I'm not gonna give him a a, 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 a percentage split of my commission because it's already my business I already got the business I just say hey Maurice if any of them go into escrow man I'll give you $200 I start at 200 I really would give him 500 but I start at 200 y'all know how y'all know how to do it if he says, yeah, cool, then he, we're good. Now, I'm going to pay him fair. I'm going to pay him fair. 250 250 All right, so, so the next one, that's number four. No, that's number uh, five. You can really run your business from anywhere. So the reality is you could be in Puerto Rico. You could be in wherever. I mean, where's Cooper at today? Philippines. In the Philippines. His business is still going, okay? Now, number six is you get to adopt the buyer. Y'all know what that means? You get to adopt the buyer. So every time that I have a list, a listing that sells, I adopt the buyer. What does that mean? You add them to your SOI. I add them to my SOI. I add them to my database. Exactly. Yeah, they go right into my. Now, do I call your your name? 
I'm Heidi. Hi. What's up, Heidi? So, so, so let's say Heidi, okay, Heidi has a buyer. Let's pretend Heidi had the buyer, and, and I'm the, you know, I'm, the, I'm representing the seller. We, we sell the house. The buyer goes into my database, okay? Now, am I calling Heidi's buyer? Absolutely. <coughs> I don't call them. Oh. I drip them. Drip, 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 drip. I drip them real good. Drip, drip. I like to drip them. I drip them real good. How many of y'all got my text email? Like, man, stop texting me. Yeah, but I, I like to drip. And that's the reason why a lot of them, you know, they call me up. They say, hey, we need you to come sell this house. I look them up. I'm like, who is this person? I don't, oh, that's so-and-so. Because most agents do not stay in touch with their database. Did y'all know that? 85% do not stay in touch. After the deal's done, they're out. That's great. They're on to the next thing, okay? And so that means 85% of the homes that I list and close, that you list and close, they won't have representation the second time. So you get to adopt the buyer. You, you know what I'm saying? And did y'all know that that's an easy, uh, the easiest listing appointment in the world? Sure. You know, Craig calls me up. He says, Nolly, we need to, I, I need you to take a look at my house. I'm thinking about putting it on the market. I look at him, I'm like, who is this guy? Craig, Craig Roth, who is it? I look at him, oh, that was a buyer on such and such street, okay? And it's a three question listing appointment and it's all over the phone, okay? Craig, hey, Nolly Williams here, getting back with you. Uh, it sounds like you wanna sell your house, huh? Yeah, I think we might wanna get it, get it sold. Now, Craig, you know I sold that house before, don't you? What? Yeah, I know you sold it before. I, you know, you, you were the listing agent, that, that's why I'm calling you. And Craig, you know I can sell it again, don't you? You do, huh? Yeah, I think you can sell it again. Well, all we have to do now, Craig, is talk about price. Done. That's the listing appointment. It was done over the phone. Okay. Oh, yeah, we just need to know what kind of price we can get. All right. So when we meet, now, if, if, assuming that I meet with them, I say, you know what? I could, I could meet with you, Craig, but I've already seen the house. I sold it before, didn't I? I already seen the house. Oh, but we've done a lot of upgrades. Okay, I tell you what. I got Maurice on my team's going to come look at the house, but in the meantime, let's get together on Zoom and talk price. I send somebody else. Hey, Maurice, could you go out and look at that house? Man, I'll pay you $150. <laughs> That's how I do it. I'm, I'm just telling you how I run my game, okay? Because, it, well, I mean, if you want to go and hang out with, with he's a nice guy, you want to go hang out with, it's no problem. Do that. But there's an easier way to do things. Does that make sense? Seller listings are highly leveraged, okay? And I actually learned this from Kevin Cooper. I don't know where he got it from. He, you know, we all get our stuff from somewhere. And uh, that's where, back in the day, when you used to get on an airplane, <coughs> like, like when, I, when, I'm, when I'm on a listing appointment and I sign, we sign the listing paperwork, okay, if, assuming I'm on the appointment, or if we're on Zoom, we do it, we sign the paperwork. I look, now I don't do this until I sign the paperwork. Okay, what's your name? Yelena. Yelena. I say, Yelena, I'm, I'm kind of sad right now. We just signed. Don't do this before you sign it. The paperwork is signed up. I say, Yelena, I'm kind of sad right now. She'd say, what are you sad about? We're about to sell this house. I say, because I'm not going to see you anymore. You're not going to see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be selling your house. I'm not going to see you anymore. What do you mean you're not going to see me? Well, Yelena, have you ever flown on an airplane? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you have. Huh? Now, you, you're too young. I can tell right away you're too young for this. But let me tell you how it used to be way back in the day. I mean, way back. The first thing you would see when you got on an airplane was a captain. And he, welcome to the flight, welcome to the, yeah, welcome, thank you very much. Now, it got weird, and then we don't see the captain anymore. They, they kind of barricade themselves. But back in the day, that was the first person you saw, was the captain. He'd shake your hand, he'd come on board. Now, who was the last person you saw during the flight? Back then, the captain. Thank you for flying with us, thank you very much. But, you know, thank you. Some of y'all remember that. Don't shake your head like you remember, tell your age. Just kidding. But did you see the captain during the flight? Did you see the captain during the flight? Oh, no, no. Now, we see the captain during the flight. We got a big problem. <laughs> we got a big problem. I don't want to see. Uh, this is the captain. Uh, can I hand you some peanuts here? Would you like a blanket? Man, get out of here with that. Get back. And I got to tell you, you're not going to see me. You know, I, we're, we're, flying, we're, we're flying this bird to Seoul, right? That's where we're going? To Seoul? Yeah, that's where we're going. So I'm going to be in the cockpit. My team's going to handle all the details. Because I'm flying, I'm in the cockpit. Now, don't get it twisted. I was there the whole time. Okay? But you're just not going to see me. And they're very comfortable not seeing me. 
because they know I'm on the job and I'm going to get the job done. Does that make sense? And that, what did I just do with that technique? Set expectations. I set the expectation and I purchased back my time. Okay. Some of you guys, because of the ego, you want to pretend like you're the only one that can do anything. Oh, I'm real good at putting it in MLS. Look at these. Nobody can stroke these keys like me. Putting it in a... Oh, I take the best photos in town. What you talking about getting help? Contract to close. I got that too. No, 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 no. Because there's a such thing that's called mind share. Write it down. Mind share. Very important to understand this. I study the mind. Most of what I study outside of the Bible is what we call quantum physics. That's my biggest area of study. And if, if we had time to talk about that, I'd be here for two, three days. I love it. I love talking about it for people that are interested. Because there is a realm from which all things happen and come, and it's called the quantum field. Okay? So the, and, and that's the reason why I say you can do, you can do it a thousand different ways. It doesn't have to be my way and still get far more success than I've ever had. Okay? By tapping into the quantum field. Mm -hmm.